Hey guys, welcome back to The Layout once again. Uh, we have another video for you today, actually. Uh, well, clearly, because you're watching this video. But, uh, I, I'm very happy with the uh, progress that we've been getting done uh, lately. And uh, by the rate of videos, you can probably tell we're finally back to uh, getting a lot of work done. So, today what we need to do is uh, create a little extra support for all these open grid sections. We need to add some angled braces. Um, so I'll show you that process. Um, and then hopefully we'll be able to start some more um, sub road bed kind of leaving or continuing off uh, like we have over here with the uh, particle board and then we'll just we'll head that way um, and we'll see how far we get but anyway that's what we have to do today so let's get started Alright, so uh, as you can see, we just got these uh, angled braces in. Um, on this side, I only did three, so there's one behind me, one right here, and then uh, one right in front of you guys. Um, and I think uh, what we eventually want to do, possibly, is drop a couple legs in between these, so that's why I offset them. Um, as you saw, uh, I skipped every vertical stud, so the one there is actually two studs away from this one, um, and so on. And then on the other side, if you can see, uh, I actually offset it. So the other side is actually only a 12 inch shelf, whereas this is 17 inch. Um, it's also higher. So those angled braces uh, are on, on the vertical studs that, that don't have these angled braces on it. So you can see there's one right here on this side, but right there you got one uh, on the other side. So uh, it, it adds a lot of uh, rigidity, um, definitely strengthens the layout as a whole. Um, so we got these in. Uh, I really think that's all the, the added extra support that we need to do right now. I'm going to show you one other quick thing I just did and then we'll move on to um, uh, sub road bit. One problem that we were having before is that this frame over here um, actually wanted to kind of turn this way and pull towards this uh, lower frame down here. Um, it also kind of sloped down. So uh, to fix that, we just cut a little chunk of 2x2 two two here, um, which is perfect because uh, the main support here is actually uh, two by four flat, so uh, the distance should be right. Um, so we put that in there, and that corrected the uh, spacing issue, um, and it also allowed us to bring this up to the correct height, so now everything's level. Now I think we're ready to focus on the uh, cookie cutter sub road bed here. Um, so this is actually not attached. Um, in fact, this needs to be up on risers. I mean, I'll be doing that in a little bit, but before I do that, I want to make sure I have enough support in here. So clearly, uh, there's nothing in this corner, and this is going to sweep this way. So I'm going to just make kind of a rough estimate and put in an angle piece uh, connected to this frame and this frame. I mean, that'll give us a place to mount uh, some sort of uh, riser in here. Um, and then uh, once that's in, I'm going to put this all up on risers, make sure we have the correct grade set, and then uh, also make sure that we've cut the uh, correct piece over here, and we'll just continue on that way. <laughs> 